Hello and welcome back to Thronebreaker. So I thought about it a little bit, how to make the best army possible in the current, uh, well, with, with what we got right now. And uh, this is the tweak I, I went for. So Gascon and his band is out and Arbalus with some bombers and a fake Florence in. Just to have some more removal and also maybe even more uh, power in the longer round. So. I feel good about these changes uh, with the current uh, arrived at the hut, the villagers cards we have. Meeting point for the square tail. Oh, no way. Actually, we have the chance to not attack. But that would Worry be a pussy thing to do. The queen said. All right, I'm not afraid, okay? I have the perfect deck now, and you guys are going to go down. I don't know if this is going to be the perfect deck uh, going forward, but it seems like a better deck, maybe. Right, those get kicked. And, uh... This is decent. Black Rayla would be preferable. And we have a lot of damage already. I think that guy is really good to have early on. And we have the special cards. I don't know if he won the Arbalest here. I think this is just good. We don't have Black Rayla, but other than that, we're set. Parker scum! Parker! Oh, anyway, so we have the fake Florin to make two units duel each other. Uh, let's just start with a big this boost. Is, we'll be reaping black clad heads. Hmm. Show me the coin or sod off. Uh, actually, if we had some movers, this would be an okay time to just, like, try to jam one row full of units. So I think we're gonna use the Hawker Trans... I think we need to kill the Hawker Transport above all. We can't play the drummer before we... Yeah, let's just go with that. Pairs late. Again. It's a good way to establish the archers only. early on. So, this starts at zero charges. Abolista, your command. Okay, let's just boost the biggest guy. Pretty sweet. So as long as he has no charges, so that's double summon. If he summons one more, actually that's gonna happen pretty damn soon. So I think we have to kill the Hawker transport here. Unless we chance, because it seems like a chance. But I don't think we can take that chance. Of giving him a debomb. Uh, that's annoying, but he currently doesn't have a way to kill. May your sword and arm finish be off. Short. Um, this is interesting. So one more unit can go on the first row. We can consider playing a fake Florin. I think we need to boost the archer. How do we go about this? Because the Elven Swordmaster by itself has little value. I can try to use the, the Blue Montanelli to kill this. It's back with four and gets killed. Okay. It's for for yeah. I think that's good. The archer needs to die. What's restrained? Cannot target bosses. So that targets that. So the archer is dead, which is great news for us. And we're gonna boost the Arbalest. So this way we have more removal. 
perfect. Look at that! <laughs> I shall not fail! Ah, uh, good question. Uh, I'll just go with the drummer guy. Army's a waste of time for one like me. Yeah, we can get uh, any of these because they're all blitz. Uh, let's just get at something. Mm, we don't want to play that in the front. We're just going to keep boosting the biggest dude. This is a pretty good uh, week. Uh, let's just go with the drummer. Left, right, left, right. So, so far, we did a really good job. Because the D-bomb is not happening. This guy doesn't have a target. The elf is dead. Uh, yeah, we can do 9 damage. Anything else you would like to hit? But I'm a no squirt unit is destroyed. I don't know. Maybe we hit the Swordmaster a little bit. That is fine. Fine. All right, some points coming up. <laughs> All right, very successful tweak. Hmm, it's not gonna go over with what's happening right now. And these guys gonna go down to one, so that's gonna be excellent with Lyria and Merlot. Uh, I'll just boost the sideman. Yeah, we can do a Lyrian Horn. Oh fuck, it's healed now. That's not good. Uh, good question. Well, let's just do a Lyrian Merlot. That's fine. <laughs> okay, pretty decent lead. Oh, oh only now he played the Archer. Not like he had much choice. Alright. Pretty successful tweak. Now we are in the lead. Uh, by double. <laughs> Death to old one! Yeah, that's crap. Anyway. Rip in peace, elves! Rip in peace. There's but one penalty for trading with elves. Murder! Right? Just keep it simple. Just murder for everything. Meave pulled off a rare trick. She laid a trap for the Scoyatel in their own woods. The surrounded elves fought to the bitter end, choosing death over human captivity. Meave cracked open the hawker's chests and stared at a mass of tangled oakum. Perplexed, she dug deeper and found the real goods hidden underneath. Bolts with entrail pureeing hooks leg-snapping bear traps, and incurable poisons. Well, that's a very long-winded way to say a lot, bunch of crap. Is, is that their biggest treasure? Instruments of cruelty, said Reynard, looking over the chest's contents. Designed to deliver maximum pain and a prolonged death. Gascon did not share in the general gloom. He reached for one of the arrows and balanced it in his hand with curiosity. A corpse is a corpse. It cares not how it became one. And these marvels, oh, my lads could do fine things with them. Well, just equip the weapons. The ends justify the means. Meave said curtly as she grabbed a weapon from one of the chests. Her soldiers followed suit and equipped themselves with hawker arms. Soon enough, the elves would feel the pain they'd hoped to inflict on others. Wait, what? <clears throat> this card? Sure. We got me flail. Uh no. Whatever that is. Let me check it out. Alright, let's go into the camp. Oh, you're a little sad about me taking the flail. So sad. What else we got? Me flail. Let's see. Cooldown of three. Oh, is that gonna compete with what I got? Boost an ally by four and give it one armor and trigger all loyal abilities. Pretty good. 
Damage free adjacent enemies by free. Move them one row back, then trigger all loyal abilities. That's good. That's... Oh, wait, what? Well, that's... Wait. What? Boost one dude by four. And give it one armor, doesn't matter. Or same cooldown. Deal nine damage. What? Does this work with... Yeah, it works with everything. Okay, we're going with the flail now, I guess. Holy crap. Even if you're hitting one guy, it's not that much worse. I suppose we could hit armor. So... And early on, the flail might be just worse than uh, the boost. I'll give you that. But I think it, over the long... Well, it doesn't have the ability to protect our units, but... You know, you, you, can, you can make some arguments for the boost, but, like, realistically... Free damage is not gonna kill too much, but, like, that's still 9 damage. If he has 2 units, that, that, that's gonna be more worth it than boosting 1 unit by 4. Possibly 5 if you consider the... The armor. Another trap! This fortunate... Our scout spotted it. But now, your grace, bridge the pitfall, we'll go back. Uh... Sure. Well, we're definitely not going back for that. Wait. The lock! I'm not leaving that there. You guys are crazy. Oh, look at that. They almost paid for the bridge we built. And I guess we're gonna go toward the battle. <laughs> Please. Yep. I just wipe out the skirt out in their own woods. I'm not sure why we're even giving... Well... They can have this uh, wood, I suppose. This forest. Oh, look. What? Come out! You pussy! Come out! God damn it. Alright, let's fight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Elves are attacking you! What you gonna do now? You kill him? Yes, you will. Oh, no, we are sad! What are we gonna do now? We're gonna kill elves while we're sad! Oh. Yeah, kinda? Oh, no. Um... Damn. Okay. There's a time to reap, a time to sow, oh, fuck. and a time to die. Destroy the lowest enemy and damage all units on the road by its power? Wait, you better be only able to do that once. So we can kill one of the archers. Uh, maybe I'm just gonna spread out a little bit. Hi. Alright. I kind of forgot that I had damage now. Okay, he's spreading out a little bit. Wait, what? Order duel the lowest enemy. If it was destroyed, double this unit's current power. Refresh its order ability. Really? Lowest enemy. Uh, that's probably gonna be a pikeman. Double this unit's current power? That's fucked up. Okay, I, I think we might need to do a, a fake floor in here. This guy needs to die. We're just gonna go double, double, double? No, 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 no. I don't think so. So we can hit that. Hits me back. 
So this is gonna go down to a 5 and this dies. Then we start working on it. A little bit. Does it really make sense to hit it? I think it does. Because at least we're working on the archer and it's gonna die sometime. That's annoying. But I don't really want to abandon that row. I might just play the Rivian Pikeman anyway. I, actually, it's possible that he's gonna kill the Scytheman now. Oh, Lyrian Lumixes. All right. So next is gonna be probably the Arbalest. That's kind of Try done. His... <laughs> Fine. That's that's really strong. What? Oh, that's so annoying. Okay, but he did use up his ability. However annoying that is. So we gotta kill the Elven Archer in the back. This is terrible. One bolt. Okay, but we can get some good value now. Huh. They got moved. Your bet will avenge us, Duan. We gotta blow up the fire trap. Actually, we can do it with Meave. So I can kill that if we wait. Maybe. It's not guaranteed. Actually, no. We can Lyrian Banner and. Arbalest, kill the archer. That's best. Then we're gonna leave the front. Uh, let's just play a drummer in the back. Army's a waste of time for one like me. Then leave the front. So this is a, a lot more removal heavy than what we had with the uh, mace. Or the storm's I think. coming. Let's enjoy the weather while we still can. That's annoying. And it's gonna die. I smell a leak. Let's just do that. Well... That's still better. Oh, I still need to play a card, so maybe we are just doing, uh... Well, we might need... I'm only gonna play out one card, and it's gonna be Odo. And I might wanna play some archers. I think the archers are a very strong possibility. But, yeah. I'll fight to my last breath. Let's just go with that. Oh my god, fire managed to hit. Boy, Pretty good if news. My coins rank to ye, go kiss a dog neat its tail. I managed to go back. But we do have Black Rayla getting at Odo. Giving charges to everybody. Forward march! Then Regiment Drummer can get out I'm not sure what. Uh, that is fine. Ah, to to me, old lady. Then we play an archer. Seems like the best choice. Abolistic Kill that. Command. And, uh... Good question. We can just hit the back. Although we technically moved him out of the fire. Wow! Black Raider got really strong. Should I Lyrian Horn? Lyrian Murloc? That's Lyrian Murloc. 
We're not really gonna get any bigger than this. I would have not expected Drayla to be the biggest bum. <laughs> Everything is dead now! Yeah! This is more like it. A lot more control. Alright. You know, this is better. 50 points against 111. I'm okay with this. What's up, elves? Oh, are you dead now? Alright, continue. Pick you up. <clears throat> Alien, my dear daughter, I beg you, please return home. Only death awaits you in the company of the Scoia'tael. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to your mother. Losing your brother <coughs> in the pogrom was already too much to bear. In the name of all that is sacred, in the memory of our ancestors, leave the forest while you still can. Ogan. I'm totally with you, Ogan. That's why I couldn't really get on board with the Squirtel ever. I just value my own life way too much. And also, Squirtel is just way too... Shut the fuck up! Anyway, the Squirtel is just way too naive and, like, uh, vengeful. It's not really like, hey, we're actually gonna make meaningful change, but more like, you know, like, let's just kill some humans! That's it! So that's kind of dumb. Anyway, guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and see you next time!